But I found out, as I told you yesterday, that I knew my grandfather at 110 years old. He had a straight back. He was not using spectacles. And he was not using a walking stick. He was not using a cane. He was looking for debt and there was no debt available to him. Then in the generation of my father, they couldn't live beyond the 60s. 62, 61, 64. Life expectancy in my family was now reduced by half. And when you find that a pattern is consistent, there is a spiritual reason why it is so. It's an issue of justice and judgment. And I went before God and asked God, I said, what is this terrible thing that I'm seeing here? And he showed me a, a long line of people that were seeking to familiar spirits and walking in the art, the abominable art of necromancy. Hallelujah. So I, I presented the blood because I'm guilty. Our lineage is guilty. We were supposed to be preachers and priests of Jesus. But that priesthood was manipulated and it was being serviced by darkness. You understand what I'm telling you? So I began to plead. I began to plead before the court. I began to plead before the court. When the court accepted to hear my case, what God told me was that, you see, some of these symptoms that are manifesting is as a result of several sacrifices that were done that the devil is pressing charges against you. <coughs> and if you are going to be the intermediary, the priest, the prophet, that is going to take the challenge to undo these things, the Lord told me that there, is, there has to be an equilibrium. Now, see, how many of you know how the beam balance of justice looks like? Do you know what a beam balance is? Every time you go to court, and you will see the lady of justice carrying a beam balance. What God was trying to make me understand was that there was a, the left side of the beam balance was under the weight of demonic sacrifices. It was like this. Before he will bring justice, there must be what? Equilibrium. Uh -huh. That equilibrium is going to come with terrible sacrifice. That's what God told me. Are you ready to pay the price or I should wait for your son? Now, many of you are not ready to do real spiritual business. Oh my, okay. Uh, it seems I'm talking to the wrong congregation. You know what? Okay, okay. Don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Let's change the message and give you. <laughs> I have others. <laughs> I have others. Thou crownest the year with goodness. That's also a message. Say there are sacrifices. You will pay a price. I said, don't look to my children. Let's begin this journey now. Oh, some of you don't believe that what I heard from God is biblical. So, wait. I, I need to show you from the scripture so that you will be sure that what I'm talking is scripture. Okay, let's go to Zechariah chapter... The reason why I'm taking my pains to do this study is because many things written against your family. Many things written against your community. This night, by the priesthood that we are going to raise, some of those grounds of legality that Satan has held to bring perpetual judgment. There are communities that have been invaded, invaded, killed. Nothing is happening. There will be an agitation for two weeks and after two weeks it dies. I know better. The reason why there is nothing happening when people are cut off in those places, there are legalities against them. Listen, if Christians are... Are you a student of the Bible? Anytime there's persecution and Christians are killed, Christians that are walking righteously before God, if they are killed, their blood cries. The next thing you will see is that Jesus will appear. Just like Jesus appeared to Saul of Tarsus that was going to Damascus with letters from the chief priest to bring people that were the people of the way to justice. Because the people he was persecuting were people that were in alignment with God. Jesus appeared. Are you, do you still listen to the news and you know that Jesus is appearing in the Middle East? Why? Those believers are right with God. 
if you bring persecution to them Jesus will show up and if Jesus didn't show up for your community there's a case in court anything you do other than understanding the status of that court concerning the matter is in the flesh it has no significance whatsoever I've worked with God long enough to know this the court doesn't respond to sympathy it doesn't respond to pity you come and you, you come and you are naked on Facebook and say Jesus nothing will happen that's not how to begin the proceedings it's, it's obvious I'm talking to the wrong people she, ah, we need <laughs> I have another message the, a good one to tell you that next year will be good for you in the name of Jesus I know how to, to say those things it is not the preoccupation of a good prophet that is in active service of Jesus for him to give you false hope and tell you that good days are coming when he knows it's not true that's not how our God works if we are going to see a change then we will need to rise up and begin to prosecute issues in the court of heaven now come with me to Zechariah chapter 3 show you something quickly if you are willing tonight to stand on behalf of your family I say I stand as a representative many more times you will hear God say I saw the justice the judgment the status in the court of heaven was arrayed against a people against a territory against an individual against a family and then God will cry out and say oh my God is there no man that can stand as a representative and take the heat so that the proceedings in court can begin my question to you tonight is are you the one who is to come or should we expect another the time for a liberation as a nation as, terri as a territory has come but if God has no man to stand in between heaven and earth nothing would happen and it is possible that even among those that are willing to pray you can pray amiss tonight just like it was said in the songs of Solomon we will cry return return that we might look upon thee so that his counsel concerning your family can come out so that his counsel concerning the land can come out in those days in Bible days in Old Testament days it was the responsibility of the prophet to always stand be be between a territory and the curses that are in the land so that he begins to interface with heaven and bring supplication and the purpose of the supplication is so that he can find a ground a place to wield the justice of God against the adversary and you are that man that will stand for your people in the name of Jesus now you may be seated